Feel Good Breakfast Show. Indeed, this is Expresso. Now, we're talking about the Ulwandle Pet Shop that was opened recently to create awareness in the community. Now, Paul wanted to show that our domestic animals should be treated with care and also with a lot of love, instead of the community having a perception that they are harmful and dangerous. This is their story. Residents of Soweto can now ask, how much is that dog in the window? And it's all thanks to 19-year-old Paul Mashwan is sharing his love and passion by opening up Soweto's very first pet shop. In a community where animal abuse is a problem, the Ulwandle Pet Shop is incredibly significant. Paul's business can have a positive impact teaching Soweto residents that pets can be rewarding and deserve love and care. Where did your passion for animals begin? My love and passion actually began um, uh, when I was living with my father at Mondio. Um, we used to go to different types of pet shops and I saw that, okay, I'm in love with animals. So you fully stocked and clearly business is booming, but how did you begin? My friends are like my brothers, so um, uh, we, we spoke to each other like, okay, guys, we, dad gave us a space, so what do you think? What should we do? And they said, um, uh, okay, come up with something. I said, I don't mind, pet shop, what do you think? And then we started doing our research. The place was already built, so we had to save our tuck money to build the pet shop, uh, put all the equipment, the pets and everything. Then we started uh, saving. All the animals are sourced from accredited suppliers. Paul goes the extra mile, regularly visiting to ensure the pets are kept in a healthy condition and he gives animal wellness advice. It can help the community in knowledge and all that stuff so they can come up and come up with the plan. Maybe they want to own a snake and like um, by buying that pet, we can explain to them how to rear the pet and how to help the pet when it's in special needs and all that. Yes, this pet shop sells snakes. Superstitiously feared in African cultures for their association to witchcraft, Paul wants to change the negative perception of reptiles. This is a corn snake, hey? It's very friendly. Uh-huh, okay, friendly. if you say so. It go, uh, grows to two meters long and um, it doesn't have venom. As an attack. Although he does keep somewhat exotic pet choices, Paul also sells a variety of fish species, birds, hamsters, and is working towards a nursery for puppies. Not only is Paul's pet shop making it much easier for resident pet lovers to come and shop for their next best friend, but children and adults alike in the community can come and get better acquainted with a variety of species.